Praise the Lord, viewers. You are welcome to a wonderful, exceptional episode. We are starting a series called the Conquest, Conquest by the Prayer of Faith. The whole of previous month, we looked at revivals in different ramifications. But what is it that stands up? The greatest weapon of contest or conquest while you're on earth is a weapon of faith and a weapon of prayer. It's your greatest weapon of conquest while you're on planet earth. Effectual prayer of faith sabotages the devil and dismantles his masterminded attacks against your life. Let me say this. Every attack against you, your finance, your family, that the enemy has masterminded, whether he did or open, this month they are dismantled, they are sabotaged in the mighty name of Jesus. As you intentionally grow in your faith and in the power of prayer, this month the enemy shall be far from you. The attacks of the enemy shall be far from you diseases that have dilapidated your life they shall be far from you in fact right now the healing grace the balm of gilead from heaven is reaching out to you right now healing your body healing every disease you carry this month the masterminded attack of the enemy against your life is dismantled in jesus mighty name now your prayer of faith is so precious before God. And that's the first thing I want you to know. Prayer is not struggling to beg God. Prayer is not struggling to beg God. Your prayer of faith as a child of God, as a believer, is so precious before God. And let me show you the Bible. In Revelation chapter 5, verse 8, and it said, When he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. The prayer of the saints come before God as a sweet smelling odor. Mm. That's how God perceives your prayers. But the prayer of a sinner is an abomination before God. Hmm. Hmm. So if you are a believer and you and back on the adventure of prayer of faith, it comes before God hmm, as precious perfume. And he wants to answer such prayer very quickly. Hmm. May God perceive your prayer as precious perfumes. From this month in the mighty name of Jesus. And let me see, show us why is the prayer of a saint so precious before your father. Number one, I'll give you a practical example. Children that communicate with their parents regularly develop a strong bond with them. Prayer is simply communication with your heavenly father. And on this basis is communication in faith prayer is not begging god prayer is not crying before god prayer is simply an effectual communication with your father and children that communicate regularly with their parents they develop a strong bond with them in fact some parents have gone as far as or some children and setting up a special ringtone for their parents so when that ringtone is so it says it's daddy it's mommy and, and some parents have special ringtone for their children when that ringtone is ringing they know is which child is calling because there's a precious 
intimate relationship. And that's exactly what happened when you develop an effective communication with heaven in prayer of faith. Now, constant communication is the lifeblood of any relationship. If you drain the body of blood, that body is dead. If you drain your relationship with God of prayer, your relationship is dead. And so many prayerless believers are moving around like zombies because they have no defense of God if they are attacked by the enemy. They have no backup from heaven. Angels respond to your prayer of faith. So when you become prayerless, you have no angelic defense. Prayer is so precious before God. Now when children, natural children maintain organic, deep-seated relationship with their parents, they make the heart of their parents glad. Their parents cherish such level of relationship. They pray and bless such children. Jesus says something that is so wonderful. When, when parents are constantly praying for children because they are drawing affection from their heart, watch the life and the future of that child is made. Because God depends on such prayers of parents, particularly godly parents, in even unbelieving parents, when they bless their children, it matters. 1975, I earned my first salary in life. Before this time, I used to do menial jobs. Because I didn't come from a parentage of wealthy people. I had to go cut grasses for some people to give me five naira. I had to go cut woods and sell them to be able to gather money and go to school. And every holiday, my hands are blistered because I had to go to the forest and join forestry people, cut down big, big, big logs when you fell one. And of course, we're using axes, not so. And when you fail one, and it, and it takes hours, real hours of hard work, and your hands are blistered, you earn five naira. And but 1975, I earned my first salary of 69 naira. 69. Now, now notice it's not 69,000. 69 naira. And I know my mother called me and he said, your first salary, use it to buy something for your father. And I was trying to question her wisdom in that. Why? Nothing for myself. Well, I wasn't really deep in scriptures at that time. She was trying to expand to me the principle of first fruit. And she said something. He said, whether your father likes you or not, when you bless him with this first salary, he said, you pull out blessing from the heart of your father upon you. I said, okay, I'm going to do that. So I went and bought some things, jump on top of the back of a motorcycle and rode to the village and I, I brought it to my father and, and true to what my mother said, when my father saw the gift, he wasn't expecting it from me. He wasn't. Because of course, he knew that um, I had a rough time. But when he saw that gift from me, my father out of surprise opened his mouth and began to bless me. Ah, so I told my mother, what you say was true. Oh, how good for children to listen to godly parents. If out of my own understanding, I say, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, no, 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 you didn't take care of me. Uh, I would have lost that blessing. That was the best blessing my father blessed me with his mouth before he died 
Now, how much more when you have an organic relationship with your parents? You are pulling something out of their heart. Now, understand this. There are two things that the Bible is talking about here. Why is the prayer of saints so precious? And what is it that will make your prayer so precious? I'm taking my time to teach this because this is a strong revelation God granted me. Stay before him and I need you to understand how your prayer of faith can be answered and how you will not have another unanswered prayer. I need you to understand this. So I'm going to take time during this teaching not to preach it, but teach it. Now, there are two kinds of relationship you maintain with your Father in heaven that makes your prayer precious. Number one, you maintain such organic relationship with him. And in an organic relationship with him, he brings forth the blessing of that relationship. When your child you love runs early in the morning, co -co 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 -co, you are in your bedroom, in your pajama, and, and, and who, who is knocking 6 a.m.? He say, Daddy, Daddy, I want breakfast. Daddy, oh, he say, oh, I'm coming, sorry. I, I, you want to, you want to, you want to bless that child. You love him. He's precious. That's what your prayer is in the ear of God. It comes as perfume. Mm, mm, that's my son. That's my son praying. And yes, what is he asking for? Move. That's your organic, intimate relationship with the father. Gets your prayers so precious and so quickly answered. So don't maintain another artificial relationship. Don't maintain this churchy relationship. Don't maintain this I'm a Christian for a long time relationship. So many people are growing old in church and they are not growing up with God. Don't maintain that. Number two. What makes your prayer so precious is the same organic fruit bearing relationship with your father. Oh, the father delights in that. The father delights in that. Organic, fruit-bearing relationship with the father. Now, he said, I am the vine. You are the branches. And like orchards, what farmers expect from the orchards are the fruits. What kind of fruit is God expecting you bear? Let me first of all show you the book of John chapter 15. I am the real vine. I'm reading from, from the message translation. He said, and my father is a farmer. Now, what does a farmer expect from his vine, the vineyard, his fruit? His fruit. He said, my father cuts off every branch of me that doesn't bear grapes. So believers who are fruitless have no future. Believers who are just attending church and give your offering and close and go, they don't have a future with God. You will make heaven. But that's all. You have a hard time having prayers answered on earth. You have a hard time enjoying the beauty of faith on earth. Now, what Jesus says, he cuts every branch of, of me that does not bear grapes. You shall not be cut off. You shall enjoy the robustness of relationship with Jesus Christ. You shall. You shall enjoy that robustness. The sap, the waters of life, the waters of grace, the waters of his blessings that flow out of him shall naturally flow into you as a branch, as a fruitful branch. He enjoys a fruit-bearing relationship. Number one, he enjoys an organic, 
intimate relationship. It makes your prayers precious. Number two, he enjoys a fruit-bearing relationship. It makes your prayers precious. And he says, and every branch that is grape-bearing, he prunes it back. He doesn't allow it to get wild so that it can bear even more. Jesus says, by the word I speak to you, you are already pruned. That means, if you are going to have a fruit-bearing relationship with Jesus, you have to constantly be in the word of God. By the words I speak to you, you are already pruned. Now, so, if you start living your life by the word, you start making decisions by the word, not erratic decisions, not just emotional decisions, not decisions that satisfies your flesh, but decisions by the word and by the spirit of God that Jesus said you are pruned to bear more fruit. That's what the word does in your life. Have you been working hard and it seems success is a mirage and power is eluding you? This package is designed to help you. Power for your victory and breakthrough. It's a 3 DVD series. With a love gift of $45 or more to partner with Simon Maga Ministries, we will send you the link or the hard copy. Thank you. Your future is unfolding. You cannot be stopped in the will of your progress. You are destined to succeed. You shall arrive there. With nuggets from this message, the spirit of uncommon breakthrough, with a love gift of $35 or more, you can partner with Samamaga Ministries. We will send you the hard copy of this material or the link to download the soft copy. Thank you. God bless you. Achieving what seems impossible is not by struggling, but by the application of the right power keys, there is power available for you. The power of faith so you can soar high and stronger. You cannot grow stronger in faith until you're fed with the Word of God. God has crushed your challenges in giving you peace with this instrument of power to do the impossible. This is a new edition by Dr. Samamaga, which will help you grow stronger and do the impossible. You can conquer and subdue all odds. Log on to www.freshimpact.store to get your copy now. To join the ongoing KDF Global Revival Prayer Movement, please log on to kdf.samamagaministries.org. Fill in your information, click the subscribe button. For smartphone users, Go to the option button at the top right corner and click on Daily Prayer. If you're using a desktop computer or laptop, click on Daily Prayers at the top right corner to access the Daily Prayer Points. Thank you for being part of the Global Revival Prayer Movement.